Hey there, welcome to day five of the Disney vlogs and not gonna lie, today is off to a bit of a rough start. I'm just sitting by the classic elevator in the Grand Floridian. We're off to a bit of a rough start. We've lost a couple of things. My mom has misplaced her camera. She says my dad took it and put it somewhere, but my dad has no recollection of it. And my dad's lost his glasses and he thinks my mom has it to stick it to him and prove a point for his stealing his camera. So either way, we have two lost things and two frazzled parents who don't know where the things are so right now they're both my dad's somewhere looking for his glasses and he's a bit impatient right now so we're just kind of chilling out and waiting to see what our next move is um, we're heading to Animal Kingdom later hopefully we'll all be in good spirits we're at Disney after all I mean me and the brothers are all good but my parents are a little stressed right now so hopefully it all works out um, Anyway, yeah, we're gonna take a bus to Animal Kingdom. We have a few fast passes to use up today. So yeah, that's pretty much it for now for a quick update. Just gonna regroup with my dad and see where he is, see if he found his glasses, see if I can calm him down a little bit so we can get on with the day. So yeah, wish me luck. On the Congress side, look at how beautiful this lobby is. I really can't get enough of it. It's a beautiful open space. I wish I could sit here all the time to edit my videos. It's so relaxing in here and so comfy, but I can't. This is cool. They have a screen showing the, uh, the estimated time of arrivals of the buses. So it's one we want right there, 1201, which is in three minutes. Yay! Okay, all is good in the world again, and we made it! Animal Kingdom! My dad just bought a pair of sunglasses because he needed some for today since it's a very bright, clear Florida day. So first stop is Expedition Everest. Since our fast pass is now available, let's go. Okay, right off the bat, this is one of the funniest birds I've ever seen. This little bird right here, it's called, it's called the spoon bill because its beak looks like a spoon and it legitimately does look like a spoon. And it gets, it has a little bit of a pink tinge. It says it's like that because they eat a lot of shrimp. And its scientific name is Ayaya Ayaya. You just can't make that stuff up. It's just hilarious. Let's see if I can get a spoon bill. Yeah, look, there it is. Hello! And there's the tree of life! Oh, I want a frozen banana! Animal Kingdom! Beautiful! Monkeys! Just swinging around. I love how Disney takes care of the cute lines. They put a lot of cool decorations in there. All these artifacts, even more over here. It's kind of occupy you while you wait, and it's awesome. Might do it later if the lineup shortens a bit. It was a lot more shaky in the middle. I felt like a little sick halfway through, but it was still a lot of fun. So we'll see, maybe later if the lineup shortens a little bit. The struggle of walking is real. <laughs> but we just had lunch at this place, Yaki Yeti Restaurant. It was actually really good. I highly recommend it if you come to Animal Kingdom or Disney World in the future. It's kind of Asian inspired and it was really good, so I definitely recommend it. We got a little show going on. All right, we're gonna do the Maraha jungle trek where we're gonna see tigers and stuff. Before we go to Cali River Rapids, just to walk off a bit of the lunch and see some cool animals. Nice, buy some bags. He's taking a big stretch. <laughs> Aww, so cute. He's on the move. 
I see a Nicobar pigeon just up there. Hello, he's so cute. Here's another one. Hello. See that one. So cute. This one. Victoria crowned pigeon. Hmm. Get to focus again. It's so silly. Time to cool off with some Pali River Rapids. Hopefully they don't get soaked. Yeah. Well, we just got off Cali River Rapids and needless to say, I'm the one who got the most soaked on the ride. In the worst spot too. My pants are completely wet. And my underwear. <laughs> so I feel really uncomfortable right now. But we're in Dino Land now. And we're heading towards the dinosaur ride, which we really like. So let's go. The Dino Institute. Dinosaur. There we are. T-Rex. I feel like I'm in that room in Jurassic Park right now. Ooh, so I just got in trouble with the Disney police a few minutes ago, and I... Okay, let me explain. So we went to Expedition Everest, four of us, my mom opted out again, but... Four of us went and we decided to go as four single riders because the line was a lot less long than the regular one. We don't mind riding with a couple strangers, so... We went, and I was paired with a person, went to the lineup, and... As the gate was opening, I looked away briefly, I got distracted, you know, just kind of daydreamed and then I looked back and the gate was closed, so I missed my opportunity to go on the ride. So I didn't want the single rider person to get mad at me thinking I'm trying to scam the system or something, but I'm 6'3", so the gate comes up to like here, like it's nothing for me, it's just a little metal gate that closes, so I was kind of stuck, do I just flag someone on an opener or do I just hop over it since I'm easily able to, to avoid getting yelled up at the single rider person, so I just hopped over it, was easy enough, just jumped on the ride and I laughed at the person next to me saying, oh I missed my opportunity, blah blah, and then I look over and I see the Disney, like the fast pass person looking at me like completely serious, shooting daggers into my eyes, she said, what you did, don't you ever do that again. So then I apologized and I was like, oh I'm sorry, I didn't know what the protocol was, she goes, yeah, well they could have stopped the train, kicked everyone off, and you could have been kicked out of the park just like that, so don't you ever do that again, okay? So I apologized and that was it and she was obviously very not impressed at me so that just ruined the ride for me because I felt awkward. I mean, I'm a pretty good person. I don't do anything, you know, rebellious or anything. I'm like, I don't do anything bad at all or against, you know, the rules of society. So that's pretty much the worst thing that's happened to me and I may as well just killed like 50,000 people because I feel horrible right now. It's all I'm thinking of. I'm obsessing over it. I feel guilty. I was blushing a lot earlier because I was so embarrassed. So anyway, it's a pain when stuff like that happens because I'm not going to stop thinking about that for the next like eight hours. <sighs> so whatever. It is what it is. We're probably going to go on it one more time before we leave. So hopefully I can have one last good experience in Expedition Everest before we leave. So anyway, we're going to go ride the safari tour. Try to forget about that little scandal, whatever it's called, and move on. Tree of Life looks really good from this vantage point, even better than 
I think the front of the park. So cool. <laughs> These people behind me are taking pictures of a squirrel. They'd be shocked if they came to our backyard. They'd be all over the place taking pictures of them all. Animal Kingdom something. is done. There's Earl Grey growing. Lemon twist. Ooh, green tea with strawberries. Cheating at Chef de France tonight at the France Pavilion. Time to practice my French. Mm, I got some salmon on some, I'm not sure what it is, I forget. Oh, lentils, that's right. lines during extra magic hours. We're designing our car for the test track. It's looking good, I like it. Eric's just picking some wheels right now. We have two minutes. Our vehicle. Check this out, it's beautiful. Ooh, oh wow, nice car. This is something from Mario Kart. Did you make that loop? Yes. Nice. Uh oh, time to make this competition get real. That's it. Extra magic hours are done. We have Epcot all to ourselves. Well, kind of. Extra magic hours are over, so we are just chilling because they're getting a few professional shots of the Epcot globe thing, sphere. And it was good. We rode the test track in Soren, which are two of the most popular rides here, which usually have like an 80 minute wait. And we pretty much topped right onto both of them. But we'll be back here quickly tomorrow one last time. Tomorrow's our last full day here. So we'll be back here tomorrow because we want to see, um, there's some kind of show um, here that has Ellen DeGeneres and Bill Nye the Science Guy um, posting it. It's, I think I mentioned it in the other vlog, but um, it's some kind of energy um, info show thing. So we're going to come back tomorrow and check it out because I want to see that. And we're probably going to hop one last ride on in Spaceship Earth. And then we jump to Hollywood Studios. We have dinner there. We're seeing Fantasmic. Probably ride a couple of rides there. And then we're shooting off to the Magic Kingdom at night to see the fireworks and to uh, tomorrow's extra magic hours at the Magic Kingdom from 12 to 2 a.m. So we're going to be in the Magic Kingdom until 2 a.m. riding as many rides as we can to get our last fill in before we have to go home on, is it Sunday? Yeah, I think it's Sunday. So that's pretty much it for today. Tomorrow's going to be a really busy day, but a really fun one as well. So be sure to like this video if you enjoyed it. Comment and subscribe. See you guys tomorrow for day six of Disney. Day six? Day six. See you tomorrow. Bye. And one of them is called the Beverly, and I've heard it's supposed to taste horrid. So I gotta try it on camera. I have a little cup of it right here. Never tasted this before, so let's give it a shot.